Hey YouTube, it's Martin from the channel Budget Bug Out, and in this video we're going to be talking about seven different backpacks that I use not only for everyday carry uses, but also for the great outdoors. So I'll be talking about each backpack, describing a little bit about the features that I really like, and then of course if you guys are interested in any of these products, be sure to check out the links in the description box down below where you can find out more information about these bags and you can get one yourself. I wanted to make this video because a lot of people ask me which bags that I actually use and because I do a lot of gear reviews and a lot of backpack reviews, I think that it's kind of interesting to see what someone uses whenever they can pretty much get any backpack that they want. So that is why I'm making this video. Now I don't necessarily recommend that you buy seven backpacks, but hopefully this video will give you some ideas of bags that you can buy or maybe systems that you can develop yourself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started talking about this bag from Canicom. So this is known as the Back Sack, which I think is kind of an interesting name. And this bag I use every week and whenever I need to go out and film something like out in the woods. So what I do is I'm going to put the items that I'm filming inside of this bag and it's really easy to do. So there's this uh, kind of a rope system that you can use to cinch down the top. But once you easily move that out of the way, you basically have this big drop sack that you can throw things in and you can see the size of the items that you could easily store inside. So it can hold a lot of different items in here and it's made out of a thousand denier very durable and then on the bottom it has this really durable rubberized material that way it's not going to wear away or wear holes in it so never worried about this bag failing on me and I, I like to throw things like knives or whatever other gear that I'm going to be reviewing in this bag and then walk through the woods with these items concealed because I don't want people being kind of nosy nellies be like why is this guy walking around with seven knives <laughs> so that is why I use this bag so I highly recommend this bag I love it I just love how easy it is to throw items in here it's comfortable it's easy to use and you also have outside pockets as well so if you want to find more information like I said you can check out Countycom's link down in the description box below so this next bag I want to talk about is from Maxpedition so Maxpedition has kind of a cult following and the reason for that is because they put a lot of engineering and design thoughts into their bags. This is a very, very comfortable bag. This is from their new entity, Gray Man line of bags. It has admin pockets on either side rather than out in the front. And what that's going to do is just make it a little bit more sleeker design. This is very friendly for you to kind of walk around town. So if i'm going to choose a bag a day bag to you know maybe roam around the, the downtown area this is the bag that i use for that also i can use it for like day hiking and things of that nature as well uh, but basically these have little straps on the inside to keep this from flying open if you just need to get something from the top but you can easily remove those straps and then you can get closer to the bottom of the bag if you just want to open the bag entirely open and I just love how versatile this bag is. It's, it's a sleek design and it also has the uh, concealed carry ability that a lot of the other Maxpedition more tactical bags have. So if you're gonna be in a place with a lot of people and you don't wanna draw a lot of attention to, to yourself, then I'd highly recommend these bags from Maxpedition. Switching back to tactical backpacks, <laughs> this one is from 511 Tactical, and this is the bag that I bring to work in uniform. So I really like the Rush 12 a little bit more so than some of the other 511 bags because it's still small that it's not going to take up a lot of space. It's not going to trip my coworkers and, and things like that. So it has a, a big, large admin uh, pocket on the outside. It's got molly webbing. And so I've attached this uh, Camelback uh, water bottle attachment to it. It's got a place for your sunglasses and it's a nice little pocket for that. It's got, it's lined with, with cloth, a very soft material. It does have a place that you can put a water bladder in there as well. And then you can open up this backpack, move out the straps, and you can just, it's, it's one of those clam style bags that you can easily get into. So I've got my change of clothes in here uh, right now. So I needed a backpack for work that I could, first off that was durable so that I could bring outdoors if I needed to, but also has enough space 
that it's useful, but not too much space where it's in the way. All right, so for air travel, this is the bag that I go with. This is from VanQuest. This is known as the Skycap 46. It's got the side handle right here, and then it has these two straps with hip straps here to keep the weight off of your back and on your hips, and it does have a sternum strap as well. But the really cool thing about this backpack and why it's useful for air travel is that you can uh, tuck the, the shoulder straps away and then you can cinch it down. That way it's still plenty spacious that you can throw all your items in there, but it also doesn't take up a lot of that precious cargo space in the overhead compartments, on trains or airplanes, and you can throw it in under the seat in front of you as well. So I've taken this on four international trips, and this way I don't have to check my bag. So a lot of space, very useful. And then it has these other like smaller compartments that you can throw like your keys or whatever else whenever you're going through security. And then like even uh, space in the bottom. So, and that's kind of where I put like snacks and stuff. So excellent bag, great for, like I said, traveling. Now, if I'm going out into the field, the bag that I'm probably going to bring with me uh, if it's going to be a, kind of a military training or if it's going to be airsoft or sometimes if I'm just going out there to have fun, uh, I bring this one. This is from VanQuest. This is the Ibex 35 and it's one of their older models, but the concept is still the same where it's got this gigantic compartment that you can put like your change of clothes or other gear, whatever it is that you want to place in there. And then there's also still molly webbing, so you can, however you want to customize it. And then they also have side compartments as well, so you can still throw a water bottle without having to use a molly compartment for that. And on the front, if you want to use these elastic cords to kind of throw your jacket or, or whatnot, and I got my field wipes up here. So I really like VanQuest not only because they're uncompromising when it comes to the quality of their gear, but also because it seems like every other year they're updating their bags based off of customer feedback, and I really respect that. So VanQuest is a great backpack company. Okay, so that was a great tactical outdoor backpack, but a great bush crafter backpack is this bag, and this is from The Hidden Woodsman, and they have quite the following on Instagram right now, and they are growing bigger and bigger. It's an American company. There's only like a couple of them that are working there, and so if you're willing to support small businesses, American owned company, really good quality, and also not really that expensive of bags. This is a great tool. And I do say that on purpose because this really is, I feel, a tool. So there's a place for you to put your ax or hatchet. There's also, and you could buy these straps on the website and, and you can put your wool blanket there. And then you got Molly attachments on the side so you can hang things off of. And then on the, in, on the inside, there's just a really, really big compartment. And I don't want to get into all of the ins and outs of this bag, but those are some of the main takeaways. So if you were looking for, like I said, kind of a, an outdoorsy bushcrafting backpack, this bag might be the best bet for you. All right, so the last bag I want to show y'all is from Under Armour. This is from The Rock himself actually reached out to me and he said that I do great gear bag reviews and that he wanted me to do a review on his bag. That was months ago. I just hadn't had time. Hopefully he's understanding on that, but you know, just been caught up with other things. Obviously I'm joking. Uh, I told my wife that this is what I wanted for my birthday as a gym bag and she got it for me. Actually, I was very surprised because this is kind of on the expensive end. So what I use this bag for is not just for gym. So you can see on here, kind of got a bunch of clothes in here. But I also use it so that I can store like toiletry items in the side as well as like extra pair of clothes. So the reason I do that is because if there is a worst case scenario, most likely I'm not going to go around to the woods if there is a tornado or a flash flood or something like that where I have to evacuate. What I'm probably going to end up doing is either going to a hotel, most likely, or going to an evacuation shelter that's been set up. And if those things happen, having ability to have a change of clothes with you and toiletry items is going to go a long way. So what I like about this backpack is that it can be used as a backpack or you can just kind of carry it into the gym like this. And then on the top, you have this big pouch that can hold uh, things like tennis shoes. 
and I like that it's olive drab so that I can still wear this while I'm in uniform. So great bag, I highly recommend it as well as highly recommend that system to use with your gym bag. So if you're someone who you need to exercise a few times a week, which is pretty much everyone, I highly recommend that you do something similar with your gear bags. So there should be a bug out bag in your car as well as a gym bag as well as probably an EDC bag. You don't necessarily have to have seven bags in your car, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. What are your different bags that you use and what are the different systems that you run, whether they be your everyday carry uh, bag system or your outdoor uh, bag system? I'd love to hear in the comment section down below and just remember that it pays to be prepared. God bless.